praise the name of Jesus. Na mtu wakasema ya kwamba tulipo I think ni overseer alisema ya kwamba wakati tunaokoka tunasema ya kwamba tumepata tumaini. We have a living hope ya kwamba siku moja tutaishi na Yesu milele na milele. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na ninashukuru Mungu asubuhi ya leo. Ya kwamba I shall see the song of Moses and the Lamb. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati wanatamani kusikwa wimbo wa Musa, hautui utaikwa na lugha gani? Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hautaikwa na kikuyu, Kiswahili ama Kizungu, utaikwa na lugha ya mbinguni. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na ndio tunafaa wakati tumeokolewa. Just one of the takatifu. Ndio muonje lugha ambayo tunaimba naye wimbo wa Musa. Praise the name of Jesus. And you shall not be a stranger. Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa hivyo asubuhi ya leo, jambo ambalo liko na maana sana katika maisha yangu sio ya kwamba ninafanya huduma sio ya kwamba ninahubiri siku ya leo the most important thing ni ya kwamba my sins are forgiven and my name is written in the book of life bwana yesu asifiwe praise the name of jesus so nashukuru mungu wetu siku ya leo kwa sababu ya yeye mwema na ni mwaminifu katika maisha yetu jana we had a powerful powerful service kutoka asubuhi hadi jioni hata watu wako wanataka kwenda home and we give all the glory to Jesus praise the name of the lord tupatie mungu wetu tukufu na heshima haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe so tunawashukuru nyote ambao kulihusika ilikuwa kazi nyingi but it was possible because of the love of god bwana yesu asifiwe the only thing we need to do is to lay our lives just before the throne Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And if you missed yesterday, please next time don't miss. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mara utabaki nyuma mbali, Mungu wetu atusaidie. Sisi sio watu wa kubaki nyuma, sisi ni watu wa kuendelea. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Nashukuru Mungu wetu siku ya leo. Maana yeye ni mwema kwetu na anatufikiria mambo mazuri na anatuwaza mambo makubwa. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Haleluya. Nashukuru Mungu wetu siku ya leo kwa ajili ya wema na uaminifu wake katika maisha yangu. Bwana ainuliwe, ametutenda mema kama jamii tuko na shukrani mbele za Bwana, ametushindania, amekuwa mwema, amekuwa mwaminifu na Mungu wa mbinguni apokee utukufu wote katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you for your support. Asante kwa kutujulia hali. Mungu wetu awabariki, awadumishe na watende mema. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And we thank God that we have a church, that we have brethren that can stand beside us even in difficult time. Bwana Yesu aibuliwe. Nasema tu Mungu awatende mema. Amen. Pigia Bwana Yesu makofi. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Nataka tusome neno la Mungu siku ya leo from the book of Genesis chapter 41 verse 50 to 51 Genesis 41 50 to 51 Hallelujah Thank you Jesus Biblia inasema ya kwamba before the years of famine came two sons were born to Joseph by Asena daughter of Potiphar priest of all Joseph named his firstborn Manasseh and said it is because god has made me to forget all my trouble and all my father's household bwana yesu asifiwe nataka kujue ya kwamba neno la mungu asubuhi ya leo linatupa moyo na nilipokuwa nikiomba mungu akanisaidia ya kwamba god will cause you to forget praise the name of jesus hallelujah God will cause you to forget. Mungu atafanya usahau. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Biblia inasema hivi ya kwamba wakati mmoja kulikuwa na kijana alikuwa anaitwa Yusufu na alikuwa amezaliwa 
na mama alikuwa anaitwa Recho na baba yake alikuwa anaitwa Jacob Bwana Yesu asifiwe na Biblia inatuambia ya kwamba when Joseph was born baba yake alifurahia sana na akampenda na akampenda hadi alikuwa anapatia kazi special hapo anaenda kuchunga hapo anaenda mbali na baba yake because he was loved by the father praise the name of Jesus nataka kusema siku ya leo you are the beloved of god Bwana Yesu asifiwe wewe ni mpendwa wa baba wetu wa mbinguni kwa maana umepokea Yesu kuwa mwokozi na bwana wa maisha yako Bwana Yesu asifiwe Biblia inasema ya kwamba Yusufu alikuwa anapendwa hadi alikuwa amebuni kwa koti ametengenezewa koti ambayo ilikuwa na marangi tofauti na ninashukuru Mungu wa mbinguni ya kwamba alikuwa Yeah. 
Yusuf akauzwa akauzwa akapelekwa Misri akaenda akanunuliwa like a slave and when he was bought like a slave Potiphar akamchukua awe house boy wake and when he was there he was working very well Biblia inasema ya kwamba na kwamba Yusuf akiwa kwa hiyo nyumba he prospered akapanikiwa kwa nini he was the beloved of the father nataka kukuambia siku ya leo haijalishi situation you are going to succeed in Jesus name wherever you go una prosper because you can go with you na tumesema this is our year of walking with God akaingia kwa Potiphar akaingia na Mungu Dio ikuwe ni jina. Jina sio 
jina. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina iko na maana. Jina yeyote iko na maana. Na unajua saa ingine hata wao wakikui wako na tabia ingine ya sio nzuri. Mtu aki anaitwa hadi majina ya wanyama. Unasikia anaitwa Bogo. <laughs> Gare waimo. Gani ingine? Hadi boko, hadi kuku ni jina ya mtu. Una mtu anajua kuna hiyo jina. Tewa. Unaona? Wanaita majina ya wanyama. But I thank God. Hallelujah. Tunapata manase katika jina la Yesu. Our God will call upon us to forget. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu aibuliwe. Hata yule wale wanaita kalioki. Jawaki. Inamaanisha ilikuwa kulikuwa na shida mahali lakini yamerudi eh amefufuka na huyu naye amerudi hiyo hata ni afadhali bwana yesu asifiwe mungu wetu atusaidie ya kwamba this year mungu wa mbinguni kama vile anasikia ndani ya moyo wangu aachilie manase katika maisha yetu ambaye atafanya tusahau katika jina la yesu praise the name of jesus bwana yesu asifiwe Hadi ya kulipadilisha 
jina. Ukisoma utakuta ya kwamba alimatendi jina. Akabupea jina inaitua Zane Zafetna Pamea. Inamadisha ya kwamba God speaks and lives. Wala asifile. Unajua ukitendewa miutiza. Ukiinuliwa na mungu. Hata watu watamadilisha jina ya. Wala asifile. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Pharaoh gave Joseph the name. Zafena Panea. And gave him as a nun. Daughter of Potiphar, a priest of all, to be his wife. Hiyo jina ya maisha ya kwamba, that God speaks and he lives. Bwana sifiri. Siku kwa kutende mujiza, watu waone ya kwamba, ako hai. Mungu akuinue, watu waone, woko kusio kure, praise the name of Jesus. Mungu wetu, anatufikiria, great and mighty things. Na ukitazama unaone ya kwamba, alisema alisahau haki kwao. Kwao alikuwa hamekaa vizuri. Nata kukua mia siku ya leo. Si ukue mtu wapaya kata unasahau. Yale mazuri ya nifanyika. Diyo uweze kuendelea bene. Maana ukiishi ukisema yale mazuri. Utaishi kusema ya kwamba. Mimi zamani nilikuwa ninaomba. Hey, why? Nikekuwa ninaomba five hours. Hey. Sasa sari what are you doing about now? Nilikuwa ni nabudu mungu, roho wa nashuka. Nilikuwa ni kisimawa tu hivi mahali ni kushuhudia watu wa nasa kuokoka. Kitabu, ya ni huko. Mimi chati nilikuwa nafika saata. Kwa inai nilikuwa karapo. What has happened today? Forget the past. Kulimishwa wiko ya kwamba, breathe on me, yesterday is gone. And today I am still in need. Mana bado ni kohari. Ni nini ya bacho kili kupata. Yusufu alisema, I forgot even all that was in my father's house. Ni nisahau sarehe. Ni nisahau vile baba yako ni nishone ya koti. Kupe, hata, hata, hata alio koti ya bayo. Wani alidangani wa nae. Muku wa menipea makoti mi. Imati na ya mdeputy president of Egypt. Kuyo ni koti gani ya wezi ba? Si ya papa enu. Ya yote ya nasema, ata kitaka ya kure ya tasema, ni nataka koti. Itaretu wa hapo within no time. So nataka kusema nini, forget the bad things. The good things, let them remain in the record of God. Na rafu tena when they are bad in Jesus name. Kwa naeswa sifiri, usikue kutuwa nyingo za kitango. Mimi ni geima, mimi ni geomba, mimi ni likuwa ni napatikana kwa ushirika. Lakini saa hii. Sahini hawezi kupatikana. What has caused that? Ni kwa sababu ya kukuka mambo ya kare. May the Lord give you a manase. Ukipata manase, wewe ni mfame, unaendelea. And when you get that, you get a chance to move forward na to move from glory to glory. Hallelujah! Wala isu wa sifiri. Tuwa pia mungu wa kuinue. Mwa pia mungu to cause. He caused you to forget. Wana sifiri. May the Lord cause you to forget. Wana sifiri. Unajia ukiwa pepe yako hawezi. Because you are a human. But when God perform a miracle in your life, you are able to forget. Habia mungu wa kuinue. Mahali ya papo hakuna hatari. Mahali ya papo ukona uwezo kufanya kazi ya mungu. Heke mwako wangu kodole na kogi Yeah. 
ya kuchomeka and this is my prayer ya kwamba sitafanya kazi ambaye ni ya kuchomeka na nataka kazi ambayo nitabiki wataachi ama inaonekana katika kiti cha enzi in Jesus mighty name praise the name of the lord in any man build on this foundation is using gold silver costly stones wood hay or straw his work will be shown for what it is. Because the day we, we bring light, it will be revealed with the fire. And the fire will test the quality. Eh, hey, quality ya kazi. Iyo kazi ulifanya na motifu gani? Ulifanya uchulikane? Ulifanya watu wa kuone? Ulifanya upendeza mchungaji? Ulifanya na mnakani? Mungu wetu wa tusaiti. That the quality of our work shall stand the test of fire. Praise the name of Jesus. What is the feel? Praise the name of the Lord. Now what is here? Kwamba, what are you going to attack our Rudy? Me, you attack, you attack our Kwanza Yusuf. Who are you going to fight? Me, you better not be. The only one is the one who has the only ability to attack. Because we see, we shall tell the stories of how we overcame. What is the feel? We are going to be able to have the ability. We are going to be able to shine down. Praise the name of the living God. What else was he given? So in the same way, when you receive manas, unamadilishi wa jina. Hallelujah. Unakua wesio kutuwa kawaida. Unakua kutuwa bae, anajulikana. Kwa chini ya kujanishu, anamungu wa bingudi. Sio kwa chini ya bidi yako. Atubariki miyashara yako. Sio kwa sababu ya bidi. Ni kwa sababu hako na kusudi na maisha yako. Na kuna mahali ya nataka usimamie. Wacha na kufe. 
akisha kufa hivi tukishamaliza maongolezi ilikuwa ya baki days nitatafuta Yusufu ni muue naye baba ya Jacob akamwambia ah uh, you are with your brother is no longer angry with you i forget what you did to him i'll send one for you to come back from there why should i lose both of you in the same day so yakob uh, isaac alikuwa ameona na akaona ya kwamba esau ako na hasira hasira ilikuwa baya sana na alisema atamuua ndugu yake so ni kuonyesha ya kwamba akimuua hata yeye atarudi labda awe na watu na hapo anataka kupoteza wote wawili so tunaona ya kwamba alimwambia uh, when your brother is no longer angry with you kama hasira imeisha na tukisoma katika biblia in the book of genesis genesis chapter 32 verse 17 na 18 haleluya genesis genesis 32 verse 17 na 18 haleluya 32 He instructed the one in the lead. When my brother Esau meets you and asks, to whom do you belong? And where are you going? And who owns all these animals in front of you? Verse 18. Then you are to say, they belong to your servant Jacob. They are a gift sent to my Lord Esau. He is coming behind us. Nataka uone hii vile ilifanyika. Biblia inasema Yakobo akatoroka akaenda kwa mjomba mahali kulikuwa kunaitwa kulikuwa kuna alienda kwa 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 mjomba wake alikuwa anaitwa Laban na alipoenda akakaa huko he stayed there for 20 good years na ikafika wakati wake wa kurudi to the promised land nataka uone ya kwamba Yakobo alipokuwa akikuja kurudi alikuwa amejawa na uoga ya kukutana na ndugu yake baada alifikiria bado amekaa na ile hasira anamkojea lakini nashukuru Mungu wa mbinguni kwa sababu Mungu pia alikuwa ametembelea Esau praise the name of Jesus alitoroka kwa sababu yeye alibarikiwa akawepo katika position ya juu lakini aliporudi alikuja akaidama mbele ya ya Esau Biblia inasema ya kwamba alienda mbele yake mara saba seven times Bwana Yesu asifiwe sio ni mtu alikuwa amefarikiwa sio ni mtu alikuwa amepata manase unafikiria kuinamiwa ni rais alinamiwa seven times kuonyesha akakaso ile hasira yote ilikuwa imeshaisha hata yeye alikaa 20 years and he missed his brother hakuna mtu mwingine alikuwa wao kwanza walikuwa mapacha akaona ya kwamba hata kama alinishika mguu kabla nizaliwe hata kama alinishika bado nitampenda he is still my brother because god had made a sorrow to forget bwana yesu asifiwe alikuwa amesifanya hesau asahau ya niopita ya kwamba alikuwa amejaa au uoga alikuwa hata amepanga pango watoto wake ukisoma utaona vile alikuwa amewapanga kulikuwa na watoto wa warecho waraiwalea na wahawa hakmezi wa kina bilha sasa alikuwa amewapanga juu ya kuogopa ya sao akapeleka watoto kina daftari kina hasha hawa walikuwa wa wa wa, wa mezi akawapeleka mbele ndio kama ya sao atakuja na hasira <laughs> afagia hawa kwanza afagia hawa kwanza alafu arudi akiongezea akuje akilia wanaa so joseph na recho at least watakuwa bali alikuwa anafikiria labda watatoroka because of fear lakini nashukuru Mungu alikuwa ametembelea Esau Bwana Yesu asifiwe hata walipobeba hiyo mazawadi yote alimwambia i have enough Bwana asifiwe praise the name of Jesus nataka tusome Genesis 33 ukisoma 33 verse 3 utakuta Yusufu ajapo alinama mara saba that is that the 3 verse 8 to 9 ina sema ya kwamba ah uh, he okay esau ask what do you mean by all these drugs i meet to find the paper in your eyes my lord alita esau my lord hey na yeye alikuwa amebarikiwa na 
baba lakini nataka ujue ya kwamba Yakobo alikuwa amemwambia Esau ni kweli nimebariki ndugu yako lakini nataka ujue this one thing ya kwamba utakapochoka na hiyo nira utaitoa nira ya ndugu yako utaitoa katika mapenda yako Bwana Yesu asifiwe wale ambao wanapata badase ni wale wanachokeshwa na hali ya kufinyiriwa na kukaliwa in Jesus mighty name Bwana Yesu asifiwe aliambiwa ya kwamba utakapochoka utakapo when you get tired when you shall be restless hiyo ndio neno ambalo limetumika that when you shall be restless ujue ya kwamba wakati huo praise the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Wacha tutapata hiyo scripture inasema ya kwamba that when you shall be restless, ya sasa utajifungua kutoka kwa ndugu yako. Bwana asifiwe. I think wakati alipokuwa ameenda, he became restless. Akasema si Jacob ameenda, hata mimi nimechoka na maisha yake. Sitafuata tena. Bwana Yesu atusaidie. Ni wakati wao wanafuata unafuata urithi kwenu unashinda ukikutana na ndugu yako kashamba ekatano unashinda ukingekana makesi kotini ati nataka nipewe kakuota eh kuota yangu ya papa si ufanye kazi ubarikiwe na Mungu amen praise the name of jesus bwana yesu asifiwe makesi na shida kotini ati sipi walikataa kunipatia wale ni nyanganya tumepewa hiyo basi you will live by the sword and you will serve your brother but when you grow restless you will throw his yoke from off your neck what is so severe and you know you shall live by the sword the sisi we live by the sword of the word of god what is so severe then when i say my father that is why he is why the 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 sword of the spirit praise the name of jesus wakati wako restless siku ya leo Bwana Yesu asifiwe umechoka na hali ambayo uko siku ya leo na unamwambia Mungu ninataka ufanye nisahau ili wapone wako juu Mungu ndiye anaweza kufanya usahau haleluya praise the name of Jesus are you restless enough biblia inasema ya kwamba Esau aliambiwa when you are restless you will throw his yoke ukishachoka utajitoa Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na unakuta ikijoka inakuwa na hasira. Ni bila haina nguvu ya kujifungua, lakini sisi tuko na nguvu. Praise the name of Jesus. We have the power of God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Wacha tusome katika Hallelujah. Katika bas chapter 33 8 to 9. Hapo ndio tulikuwa. Shalabo kasina banda. Why do you mean by all these truths? Sasa ni nini la kusumbua ukishinda ukigawanya watoto ukigawanya wamama wale wanapenda sana unawaweka nyuma ni nini hii what do you mean by all these drugs i meet hii sasa hizi hizi watu tofauti ninakutana naye ni za nini hiyo basi ile inasema nini basi naye but the sound say i already have plenty my brother Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I already have plenty. Mimi nimeshabarikiwa. Nilijifungua kutoka kwa nira yako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Situjifungue kutoka kwa nira ya shetani. Tujifungue kutoka kwa nira za mapepo ya ukoo katika jina la Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unaishi kusema sisi kwetu hatukusoma. Sijui hatukufanya nini. Sijui hatuna shaba. Praise the name of Jesus. Esau hakupewa kitu. Eh, hey, I believe hata baadhi walikuwa naishi kama ni bashapa ya 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 kikui sijui wengine kama ilikuwa yao hata labda hakupewa kaposho. Lakini alisema I already have enough my brother. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Maana mimi nimepata manase. Mifuko niko naye mingi na hata nimegawiwa my mouth say uko ndio ninakaa. Praise the name of Jesus. Si Mungu wetu atusaidie that we may have enough and plenty kwa sababu tutajifungua in the name of Jesus Christ. Utakao umefungwa hadi nini? May the Lord help us so much. In the Old Testament inaogeana about vitu za kawaida alibarikiwa and 
the one was with God and the one was God. Kwa hiyo napigana na Yesu ambaye ni simba wa kabila ya Yuda anayeguruma mambo inabadilika. You are fighting with Jesus in your mkono wako juu. Unamwambia Bwana nipatie neema to become restless in the name of Jesus. In your mkono wako juu tunapomalizia tukiomba pamoja na tukachia na Yesu. Bwana ninakushukuru kwa mikono iliyoinuliwa. Watu na wadada hawa they want to be restless oh God. Remember them. Give them the ability to become violent and fight with the word of God and fight together with Jesus Christ, my God and my Father. Cause them to hope, oh God, even to forget. Asante baba wetu. Kwa kushukuru kwa kuheshimu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo, tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Kwa kariki, kwa tete